Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Friday, January the 8th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 8. The Second Aim Continued. Members of the Third Order, fight against all such injustice in the name of Christ, in whom there can be neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for in him all are one. Our chief object is to reflect that openness to all which was characteristic of Jesus. This can only be achieved in a spirit of chastity, which sees others as belonging to God and not as a means of self-fulfillment. Lord Jesus, in your servant Francis, you displayed the wonderful power of the cross. Help us always to follow you in the way of the cross, and give us strength to resist all temptation. To you, Lord, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, be all glory forever. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is our light and our life. O come, let us worship. The Vanity Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 118. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now proclaim, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord now proclaim, His mercy endures forever. I called to the Lord in my distress. The Lord answered me by setting me free. The Lord is at my side. Therefore I will not fear. What can anyone do to me? The Lord is at my side to help me. I will triumph over those who hate me. It is better to rely on the Lord than to put any trust in flesh. It is better to rely on the Lord than to put any trust in rulers. All the ungodly encompass me. In the name of the Lord I will repel them. They hem me in. They hem me in on every side. In the name of the Lord I will repel them. They swarm about me like bees. They blaze like a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord I will repel them. I was pressed so hard that I almost fell, but the Lord came to my help. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. There is a sound of exultation and victory in the tents of the righteous. The righteous hand of the Lord has triumphed. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has punished me sorely, but he did not hand me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them. I will offer thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. He who is righteous may enter. I will give thanks to you, for you answered me, and have become my salvation. 
The same stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. On this day the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hosanna, Lord, Hosanna! Lord, send us now success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. God is the Lord. He has shined upon us. Form a procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will thank you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Holy and mighty God, your Son's triumph over sin and death has opened to us the gate of eternal life. Purify our hearts that we may follow where he has gone and share in the radiance of his glory. We ask this for the sake of our risen Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Then he came again to Cana in Galilee, where he had changed the water into wine. Now there was a royal official whose son lay ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had come from Judea to Galilee, he went and begged him to come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Then Jesus said to him, Unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The official said to him, Sir, come down before my little boy dies. Jesus said to him, Go, your son will live. The man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him and started on his way. As he was going down, his slaves met him and told him that his child was alive. So he asked them the hour when he began to recover, and they said to him, Yesterday at one in the afternoon the fever left him. The father realized that this was the hour when Jesus said to him, Your son will live. So he himself believed, along with his whole household. Now this was the second sign that Jesus did after coming from Judea to Galilee. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. We begin our prayers with prayers for the world. We pray for those places in the world where there is warfare, unrest, famine, disease, man-made or natural disaster. We pray for Yemen, Sudan, Nigeria, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran. Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Russia, 
the Ukraine, and the United States. Let us pray for the peace of the world. The Lord grant that we may live together in justice and faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for this country, and especially for Queen Elizabeth, the Governor General, the Prime Minister and Members of Parliament, the Premier and Members of the Legislature, and our Mayor and Council, and all in authority. The Lord help to help them to serve His people according to His holy will. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for children and young people. Let us pray for them in this time of pandemic. Let us pray for their teachers and teachers' aides. The Lord guide their growth and development. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the sick. We pray today for those who have been afflicted with COVID-19. We pray for those in our hospital or our nursing homes, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. We also give thanks for our doctors, nurses, and medical technicians, for social workers and mental health workers, for researchers and scientists. The Lord deliver them and keep them in his love. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the victims of our society. We pray for those who this day will feel the effects of poverty, homelessness, systemic racism, or prejudice. We pray for those who will struggle in this land of plenty, who will not be treated as equals, but as lessers. Let us pray for all who are condemned to exile, prison, harsh treatment, or hard labor for the sake of justice and truth. The Lord support them and keep them steadfast. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the church. We pray for the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. And we pray for Bishop William, our assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Mark, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. And we remember the prophets, apostles, martyrs, and all who have borne witness to the gospel. The Lord direct our lives in the same spirit of service and sacrifice. Lord, hear our prayer. And in our prayer for the Third Order, we pray for the province of Asia Pacific, for New South Wales A and B, and the ACT regions. We pray for Jane, Julian, Stephen, Cece, Alicio, Janet, Diana, Tina, Derek, Diana, Dennis, Joan, Celso, Lucine, Keith, and Donna. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God of power and life, the glory of all who believe in you, 
Fill the world with your splendor, and show the nations the light of your truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.